Were you aware that there are certain researchers, crews, and even ships themselves whose abilities don't work against armadas? Well, today I'm here to tell you what those are, and you better pay attention. And I'll know if you won't, because I've got my pit boy. And if I just turn it on right here and do a little, uh, this talk. Hold on, hold on. Obviously, I clicked something wrong. Let's try this. What? That's that's not it either. What? What? The, maybe if I do this dial. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh. Turn it off. Turn it. Off. I'm sorry. Turn it off. Fancy intro music. Yeah. Woo So once again, crazy intros aside, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about armadas and specifically kind of reminding everybody what doesn't work because I've been doing armadas on, <clears throat> especially some of the newer servers where officers are being used that simply don't work and abilities are being tested that are just simply pointless. So I'm gonna give you some basic armada crews at the end of the video, but for this part, we're gonna start looking at those that simply don't work. That's it ones that don't work at all, which includes some very well-known officers. So I'm gonna go into my officer tree real quick here and sort by group, and we'll talk about those. Now, I'll also provide a list, and I reached out to you know one of the moderators from Star Trek Fleet Command who runs the official Discord, seeing if they had an updated version of this list from the one that I had, and they don't have anything that's been added. So if anything has changed, well, if you know about it, put it in the comment section below. If not, we'll just make an updated video in the future. But with Armadas being such a critical part of this game, where this game really emphasizes team play, that you know we should really make sure we got our P's and Q's together for this. So let's go ahead and scroll down to our first officer we're going to look at as soon as I can find her, which is Chin. Now, Chin is, of course, the well-known hostile officer. PMC, Pike Moreau Chin, extremely well-known, but... Even though armadas are technically a hostile, they don't work the same way as a regular hostile. Specific things have been disabled against them, such as this officer right here. The opponent's a hostile chin decreases the damage done by energy weapons by 30%. <clears throat> so if you had pipe and row chin, that takes it down to a ridiculous number. That is why this ability <clears throat> does not work at all in armadas. You can also see one of her running mates in Talon. Talon's secondary ability, which is about kinetic weapons, also does not work versus armadas. They've disabled that. So there's even more. For example, Mara has an ability called Wife of a Dahar Master. This ability does not work on an armada, which is kind of funny to me. I, I feel like some of the ones, that it's almost like they pick some out of a hat. I don't understand why some of them work the way they do, but this ability does not work in armadas at all, so keep that in mind. We have another of the helmet crew in Kuag. If you look at his secondary, which is blood and honor, this works. This actually does work, which is just increasing accuracy against, but it's the Excel Under Pressure Captain's ability. When the ship gets a hull breach, decreases all the stats of the officers on the ship by 35%. Now, I don't even know why this one doesn't work, but this is what the dev said, it doesn't work. Hope the, the armadas don't have officers. So how would I be lowering the abilities of officers that they don't have? I don't know. But anyway, that does not work on it. Now let's go to another one. There is another officer that has been a little, little bit brokey, a little bit brokey, Severus. He's got an ability called Spreading Fire, which is the captain's ability. When the ship is burning from the opponent, decreases the opponent's whole health by 10% each round. Once again, I don't understand why this is deactivated and not working, but it is not. It's not allowed to work at all. Now, one that does make sense of why they don't allow it to work is Yuki. And if you look at Yuki, it's not the Romulan Grudge, which this does actually work. It is the Disrupting Field. So you can use the Romulan Grudge against a Romulan Armada and it'll actually benefit you. But you cannot use the Captain's ability, which is Disrupting Field. That Shield Strip ability that we've come to love in PvP will not work against an Armada. So if you crew out your ship with Yuki on it, it better be as a side piece because the main piece ain't, ain't working. Next up is John Harrison. Very interesting officer. Very loved. Very renowned. Sabotage. 
after for the first round and ignore 60% of the opponent's shields. Obviously, this would be pretty OP because for those who know John Harrison knows that when he's there, he works for everybody. So if he's in your base defense, everybody can use John Harrison for round one. That would obviously really offset the meta of Armadas and make them just ridiculously easy to complete. Next up is going to be Marlena Moreau. Another card that we're very familiar with because of the Pipe Moreau situation, but it's going to be No Fear, her secondary ability, which is against piercing shield, mill, shield piercing and accuracy, decreasing them by 50%. At least they, that's what it is at rank three. This ability does not work against Armadas. Moving on to a couple of other ones. We've got to go down to the Cadets. You wouldn't think the Cadets would be barred from Armadas, but they basically are. Cadet Ahura scan the enemy or captain's ability. Decreasing weapons damage of the opponent's ship by 10% or with synergy, this can grow. This is disabled, not allowed to work. Funny enough, other abilities that are similar for other officers do work. But I won't tell anybody because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Vixus. Let's go to Vixus right up here. The wonderful, beautiful Klingon lady with some type of helmet on her head. We don't know what that is, but apparently it's protecting five specific ridges or five aliens that are feeding from her ridges. Who knows what's going on under that helmet? The world may never know. Fake communiques. At the beginning of each round, Vixus has a 6% chance of delaying the opponent's weapons fire by one round. Now, this style of ability is similar to how Chang works, but it's very, very rarely, if ever, used. Typically, you just use it for the secondary ability, which is energy absorption, which also will not work in this instance because this is not a player, but fake communiques has been deactivated and will not work against an armada. One more, I think we got, we had one or two more. Chang also for the exact same reason does not work. And then DJ Aoki, where's DJ hiding at? Come on, DJ, come out to the crowd. Now, DJ still does not work with the shatter defenses ability. At the beginning of each round, if the opponent is burning, DJ decreases, yada, yada. The problem is DJ's wrong, and he's still wrong after several years. This is not how DJ works. DJ works exactly like Zhao does. It's the opposite of this. He increases your mitigation, not decreases the opponent. And that, for that reason, he shouldn't be taken off the list. He works like Zhao, and Zhao works in an armada. But this is a problem with some of the game where... I guess they read the tooltip and believed it, and you should never believe the tooltips. Always do your research, because that's simply not accurate. So I know I said that I was going to do cruise, but I, I figured it would actually be better since we're kind of doing a rehash of things that you might not know, but was announced like two years ago. What we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to discuss real quickly how things like burning morale and hull breach work, while also throwing up on the screen the detailed list of everything that works in the game, which, as you can see, the Burrell, the Gladius, uh, they both have officer or ship abilities that don't work at all. And then there's a research called Defense Tactics, which you can find in your research combat tree. And I'll show you exactly where it is and, and how it doesn't apply to our model. So if you come into your research haven here, click research, and we'll go to the combat tree right at the top. And it's going to be the defensive tactics one. And yes, yeah, one right here at the bottom, less damage from hostiles patrolling space. You do not get this 30% reduction versus armadas. Now there are armada specific researches now, but just specifically they turn that one off against armadas. But I do want to talk about crews and how they work. We'll, we'll cover an Armada crew setup later, including running support ships and things like that so that everybody can use burning and hull breach. So morale is a go-to for a lot of people. A, a generic Armada loadout is Kirk, Spock, Khan. KSK will take you very far, especially if the whole group is running it, and it's a great generic one to just get everybody in. Now, if you're a planner, and I was talking about this in some recent streams, if you're a planner and you plan to go after the really big ones with your alliance, it's probably advantageous for you to look at things like burning and a hull breach, especially with the ships that you could be bringing. So the reason I say that is morale, let's just use this original Kirk as an example, the inspirational ability. At the beginning of each round, Kirk has a 70% chance of inspiring morale for two rounds. Now, morale only works on your ship. That's it. Because remember, it says the ship, your ship. That's it. But here's the difference. So morale is a buff that applies to self. It's a self buff. But when you get to, say, Gorkon, 
or any hull breach essentially you see creating opportunities when the ship hits the opponent with a critical hit 80 percent chance of causing a hull breach for three rounds on the opponent's ship so here's the tricky thing with both burning and hull breach they both work the same way hull breach and burning can be used by everybody so let's say that you have a six person armada Only one person needs to activate hull breach and everybody else in the armada can use it. Everybody. Only one person needs to activate burning. Everybody else in the armada can use it. There are other abilities that work the same way. For example, let's scroll down and I've talked about this officer for several years and using an armada since the armada mechanic came out, Gala. Gala works for everybody. If one person runs Gala, it works for everyone. Now, if you're running an exchange armada, you'd want to run Pike, Moreau, Gala on two ships, completely negates the criticals of the opponent. If you're running a regular armada, you only need one of these to run. Now the question is, is it more advantageous for me to run Pike, Moreau, Gala, or is it better for me to run just Kirk, Spock, Khan, or should we do supports? Now you're getting into what ships are you bringing, things like that. If you're bringing six augers, yeah, one person running uh, burning, and then the other ones running, for example, the support ship for that auger could be Kirk, Spock, Giorgio to get the burning going, especially a high tier Giorgio, and then everybody else is running like Ash Tyler, uh, and then their version of morale. Just do that. Why not? Or they could be running Khan. Either way, that one burning would work for everybody. So just some little details about armadas you might not have known, and we'll go in a little bit more depth later on because I know armadas for a lot of the newer servers are still a fresh concept, and how exactly do we run them? Well, I'm going to help you do it, and you can only get that help right here. Here! Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro for the Empire and glory to your house.